Hello everyone. So I love some good vegan food and if you do too then this video is for you. This is a what I eat in a day London edition and vegan of course. I guess this is sort of more of a compilation of things that I ate during the two months that I spent in London over the summer and like various restaurants and cafes that I tried out. But I am going to show you options for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snacks. So I guess it technically does make up a full day of eating. So without further ado, here is what I ate in London. We'll start off with breakfast, the most important meal of the day. One of my new favorite spots is called the Farm Girl Cafe in Notting Hill. They have tons of healthy options. Everything's probably organic um, and everything is just so Instagram worthy. On this particular day, I had the most beautiful chai latte that I've ever had in my life that was made with almond milk and also some toast with almond butter. I realize that it does sound like a pretty basic meal, but you tell me where else you can find a chai latte with a bulldog designed on it. Amazing. If I am out and about and walking around, then it is pretty much guaranteed that I'm gonna get hungry before lunch. One of my new all-time favorite snacks are these peanut butter trek bites because they're made with only a few simple ingredients, but they're also so satisfying and filling. You know how sometimes you eat a snack and you're still left feeling just a little bit hungry? Not with these. I'm almost offended that they don't sell these in the States. But you know what? Maybe maybe they do. I have no idea. But if you happen to know where they sell these in the United States, then please let me know immediately. Now on to lunch. If you are familiar at all with traditional British cuisine, you will probably know that it's not particularly vegan friendly, like at all. But recently I discovered a place called Got... Goddard's, Goddard's of Greenwich, which is a cute little shop that serves like traditional British meat pies, but they do have one vegan option that's made with soy meat and it comes served with like peas and mashed potatoes and gravy. I have to say I was pretty impressed because I had no idea that such a thing even existed in vegan form, but here you have it. So if you happen to find yourself in Greenwich one day, then definitely check this place out. On to more snacks because again, I usually always get hungry in between meals. If I've already had my little bag of Trek Bites for the day, then I'll usually go for something like a Naked Bar, which again is only made with a few ingredients like dates and nuts. And they also have so many flavors like espresso, chocolate, strawberry. I think the strawberry is probably my favorite. I also like these little boxes of chocolate milk because sometimes I just want to relive my childhood days of drinking chocolate milk out of a little carton. If I want something a little bit more salty, then I'll usually go for these quinoa chips, which are even better with salsa or hummus. And for dinner, I had Vietnamese food for the first time and it did not disappoint. The restaurant that we went to was called Hanoi Cafe and I have no idea if I said that right. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it's located in Shoreditch and it had plenty of vegan options on the menu. I did have a little bit of trouble deciding what I wanted because I'm just indecisive in general, but I ended up choosing the tofu and vegetable curry, which was delicious. Last but not least, dessert. Throughout the two months that I spent in London, I made several trips to Eureka, aka the best place in London to get your vegan milkshakes, frozen yogurt, and ice cream. I have to be honest, it did take me a few tries to figure out which flavors I really loved. I really wasn't a fan of the chocolate or the matcha soft serve flavors, but the vanilla bean is on point. I also love the peanut butter and cookies and cream ice cream flavors. I just can't wait to go back to London so I can try all of the flavors because they all sound so good. I'm thinking next time I'm probably going to try a milkshake because I have not had a vegan milkshake in quite some time. But that is everything. That is all that I ate in a day. <laughs> Hopefully this made you realize that there are plenty of vegan options for you in London. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!